Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy. And today we're going to be looking at some Arabs manufactured by several different Spanish companies and some Arabs made by an English company. Now, first up, we're going to look at these camels that you see on the top shelf here. These are 60 millimeter camels. They also come with four different riders and they're manufactured by Reemsa. R-E-A-M-S-A. -E now, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but hopefully I get close enough so that if you decide you'd like to purchase some on eBay, you'll recognize the name and be able to do so. They're excellent. They would be a, a wonderful addition to your French Foreign Legion fort. And let's take a look at them. Like I said, they're 60 millimeter. Now, there is one thing that I don't care for these about these that I don't care about is the fact that the riders, which you see here in the front, do not fit on the saddles. They just keep popping off and, and also falling off. And when I say pop off, I'm not trying to speak Russian. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. Okay. Now you can see here, I may not be able to do this one-handed. Fuck it. I, I, you know what? After trying to do this video like eight times, I'm not going to bother anymore. It, they just, you have to take my word for it. They do not fit on the saddles. So I imagine if you took an X-Acto blade and carved them, uh, the inside of their legs somewhat, and then super glued them to the uh, saddle, it might be okay that way. Otherwise, they're not going to fit. <clears throat> now, these riders that you see here, I did not experience that problem. And uh, these are manufactured by a company, a Spanish company from Barcelona called Hescan, J-E-S-C-A-N. I, I say Jeskin, but uh, it being a Spanish name is probably uh, not correct. And those are Moors, so they would be more, no pun intended, more uh, uh, suitable for uh, medieval scenes, such as uh, using them to attack a crusader castle. Now, the Moors were, of course, uh, involved in the conquest of Spain, and they at one point took over the entire country and had also invaded uh, the south of France before they were turned back by the French in the Pyrenees, I think it was. Anyway, it's been a long time since Iggy read about that. So at any rate, it's an interesting story if you would like to delve into that a little further. The... Uh, the Arabs that you see on this bottom shelf here, they're very well done. Uh, they go perfectly with your French Foreign Legion set. As you can see here, they're all in attacking poses with the exception of this one gentleman who's scanning the horizon. He has his hand up over his eyes to shield them from the sun as he observes the uh, far horizon. I actually like that pose a lot. It's kind of a cool pose. Now they are 60 millimeter and I will demonstrate that by showing you a tempo figure, which is 54 millimeter next to one of those. Let's try this. We'll take this fella down and you can see that the, um, He's quite a bit taller. I put him back. And let's see if we can get up closer with these guys so you can get a a better idea. I like these. They're they're pretty well done. Now these two here are from a Danish company called Riesler. Reisler, 
poor Iggy has trouble with the uh, other languages, unfortunately. I believe it's R-E-I-S-L-E-R. -E -E and they're from Denmark. This is a, uh, almost appears that the camels are 135 or maybe even smaller. They look like youngsters compared to these up here. But I bought this because I thought they would work well with my tempo figures that you see down here. Now, Hescan or Jescan or however you say it uh, is also from Spain. And they also have some really cool poses. But like I mentioned earlier, they're more um, medieval in their equipment. So, uh I'm not sure where did this guy come from? He's a different color. He looks like one of the um figures from this set over here, but he's and actually he's a different color. He's tan I never noticed that before. He's tan, whereas these figures are more of a butterscotch. So I thought he went with this set over here. Let's see how tall he is. Yeah, he's a bit taller than 132. I'm going to put him back over here. And he's also holding a rifle, uh, which means he does not go with the Moorish set. So the Moorish set came with three riders and four standing infantrymen. And these are the writers to the, uh, not Jeskin, who is it again? Yeah, I need to see the doctor. I got something. I can't seem to remember anything. No, here it is. Luckily, I saved the tags for these. Reemsa. God, why couldn't I think of that? R-E-A-M-S-A. Reemsa. I'm not sure. Uh, that's these figures here. And as you already have seen, they don't fit well on the camels. But all these groups go nicely. I'm going to use them to attack my fort that I'm going to show you in the next video. Uh, this is a reproduction of a Mark's Captain Gallant Arab tent. You see he's got an ottoman there and a cushion. And there's like a genie lamp and a hookah. Uh, a hookie. What do they call those? Oh, I'm going to a hookie lao. A hookie, 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 hookie lao. Everybody is going to the hookie lao. With the mau maus and the cow cows at the hookie lao. We cast our nets into the sea, and all the hooky hooky come a swimming to me. Oh, we're going to a hooky lao, a hooky 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 lao. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, my birthday was two days ago, and yes, I'm an old man, and yes, I can't sing very well, and yes, I want to show you this tent from the Captain Gallant playset. Uh, Captain Gallant was a TV show from the early 1950s that featured Buster Crab, who was an Olympic uh, swimmer. He was also the person who played uh, Flash Gordon. So if you've seen one of those old, old Flash Gordon serials, Buster Crab is Flash Gordon. And he's also Captain Gallant. Should have mentioned that. Now this tent back here, it it it's not from a, a um, from an Arab set, but I look like it. It looked like to me like an Arab tent, something similar. So or something that would be compatible with this tent here. So that's why I included it with this. And over here is another one. And these are Captain Gallant uh, accessories that they had for their Ford, although it looks like I'm missing some of them because I think 
they might be with the French Foreign Legion troops I have. So we'll have to see. It. Now, I I don't, this is a gun rack back here. Oh, I got the hiccups. This is a gun rack back here, and I can't get the rifles to stay in there. Uh, every time I put one in, when I put the next one in it, the other one falls out. So I get frustrated the way I did with the camel. So I decided let's not do that because these are going to have to be glued in there. And this, I'm not sure if this is from Captain Gallant or not, but it's a hitching post. And a barrel with a lantern. And here's a what appears to be like a water jug or something. Anyway, so th those are my Arabs from three different uh, toy producers. Uh, Tempo, you guys are familiar with Tempo. Reemsa, which, well, there's the Reemsa camels and there's the Reemsa figures. And then Jesscan or Hescan, not sure how I can say that. And Reisler or Riesler. I also have a Zorro figure from this company. I'm not sure what that has to do with this, but I thought I'd throw that out there. And uh, I guess you guys can throw it back. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. I'm sorry for my stammering and stumbling. Uh, before I tried to do this video, I took my blood sugar and it was almost 300, so I'm having some trouble <laughs> at any rate. Uh, this is like the eighth or ninth one. That's why I didn't stop the video when I dropped the camel and started swearing, because uh, tonight I'm just off, that's all. So hopefully the next video I do, I do a better job for you. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to hit the dusty trail. I'll meet all of you back at Roy Rat. I'm not sure what that was. I'll meet all of you back at Roy Rogers Ranch. And we'll say hello to Bullet and Trigger. So bring a carrot for Trigger and bring a, a doggy snack for Bullet. That's all I've got for you guys. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Oh, my God, Iggy, you're terrible. Ha, ha. Yes, I am terrible, and I'm proud of it. Oh, well, I'm not proud of it, but that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thus concludes another episode of Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. We'll see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Good night, everyone. Auf Wiedersehen.